Hello everyone and welcome to Test Kitchen Live. Happy November. I guess we're in the holiday season, right? I want you to put in the chat, are you guys like jumping right into the holiday season or are you still kind of recovering from Halloween? That'd be me, I'm not, I'm not quite ready, but we're ready here at Pampered Chef to help you get ready for the holiday season, get ready for holiday gatherings and gifts. So thank you so much for joining us. Welcome tonight, my name is Sandy. I lead the culinary team and we have a lot of stuff to show you, lots of tips and tricks and exciting news to share. And uh, speaking of exciting news to share, we've got Abby over on the chat. Hi, Abby. Hi. Well, so the news so far is some people are ready, some people are not. We've got some trees up. We've got oh, some boy. candy hangovers happening, too. So. <laughs> exactly. So everybody's figuring it out. Yeah. So happy holidays, everyone. And yes, I'm watching the chat. I'm really excited because tonight we're going to be giving away some of our electric pop and stirs to live Woo! viewers. So stay tuned later in the show. Make sure that you're participating in the chat and we'll announce those later on. So exciting. Yeah, whether you're ready or not, the holidays are coming. So like, you, I gotta buckle up, right? Like it's coming even though I'm not quite ready, but cooking with all of you helps me get a little bit more excited. So speaking of that, let's get cooking. We are gonna be making a really fun spin on a traditional lasagna in our enameled 14 by 10 cast iron pan. But before we get to the main dish, we're gonna do things a little differently and we're gonna start with our treat, right? When it comes to the holidays, you, you could start, you could start with your sweet treat. You could start dessert, with right? dessert first. Yeah, yeah why not? You can always start Dessert's with dessert. Dessert's kind of like an appetizer. Yeah, why not? Especially over the holidays. So if you are looking for an amazing gift or if you're looking to make some really fun budget-friendly gifts at home, the electric pop and stir is for you. So put in the chat if you guys have the electric pop and stir. Maybe you've seen it in action. I want you to tell everybody how delicious the popcorn and candied nuts come from this amazing tool. So of course it could make really yummy uh, movie theater popcorn and then the lid doubles as the bowl. So that's really fun. We're gonna be making candied nuts. Um, but yeah, the popcorn comes up, uh, popcorn comes out like the perfect texture, fluffy. And then you put some pats of butter and it coats the popcorn. Mm, so good. But we're gonna focus on candied nuts today, okay? So simple. Um, you just put your ingredients in here and walk away and you have perfect candied nuts. Great for, uh, I think like teacher's gifts, for your male person, your hair person just to snack on like we have over here. So we're gonna be making this candied nut trail mix, which is super easy and fun, but we're just gonna start with making our mixture. We have um, about a cup of mixed nuts. So we've got almonds, cashews, and pistachios. You can do any mix of nuts. If you only like almonds, you could just do almonds. It's kind of like, pick your adventure. We've got a half a cup of sugar. We've got two tablespoons of water. And I love this too, because these are ingredients you just have in your house handy dandy for you. Um, and if you don't have these two products handy dandy for you, you should think about getting these for the holidays. We have our Cinnamon Plus and Double Strength Madagascar Bourbon Pure Vanilla. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. So Cinnamon Plus uh, is cinnamon, allspice, orange peel, cloves, and ginger. And it just like steps up all your baked goods. I always tell my friends around here that I, um, I put it in my coffee every morning just to like make it feel a little festive. Put in the chat what you guys love with it. But a half a tablespoon. Of course, we also have our Karinji cinnamon that's available just over the holidays. The vanilla and the two cinnamons are only available while supplies last over the holiday season. So you have to get it. Of course, the vanilla you can use about a half half as much as the recipe says to use. This recipe calls for a teaspoon, so I'm gonna use a a little less than a teaspoon because it's that double strength. And salt. I'm just going to do a little pinch of salt. You know, salt always helps kind of bring out the flavor and the sweetness of your treats. And that's it. I'm going to turn this to the nut setting. And Abby is going to keep an eye on it for me because I'm going to be busy. But that's it. It just stirs it's set to the perfect temperature for candied nuts and we can walk away i'm gonna keep an eye on it but i'm gonna keep a nose on it because <laughs> oh it smells I, can, so I mean i know because i've been around the test kitchen when yeah. you've made these before but like i can already smell the cinnamon plus and it's not even warm yet and the vanilla yeah it smells so good 
You could just get this to scent up your kitchen if you're looking for something. No. Who needs scented candles exactly. when you, when have, you this. have the pop and stir? Okay, now on to the main event. How many of you guys make lasagna over the holidays? We actually make it on Christmas Eve just because it's so easy, but this is a great big portion of lasagna that you could even pop in the freezer so you always have something on hand for your guests. This is a vegetarian or a meatless lasagna. You could always add some ground turkey, ground beef, but I like it like a, something a little bit lighter during the holidays. We're always, you know, eating lots of heaviness. But we're going to start with the rapid prep mandolin. Again, put in the chat if you have this guy. is really amazing to have over the holidays. Um, it is way better than a traditional mandolin because it's safer and it has so many settings. Let me start chopping and I'll kind of tell you about that. I'm slicing. I love how the zucchini kind of like fly and jump. <laughs> so fun. So easy and fast and perfectly evenly cut so that they'll all cook at the same time. Um, this recipe calls for three carrots and two to three zucchini. So I'm gonna throw my uh, carrots in there. And again, this is on the slice setting on the number three thickness. fun so this guy of course slices dices julienne cuts which really just means to cut into matchsticks and a perfect french fry cut i know i've gotten some of my friends to buy this thing just for the french you know if you have little kids and you make french fries in the air fryer this is for you and then what's also cool is if you can see the you've got the different uh slice settings the slice french fry cut and julienne and then you've got the different thicknesses so number one is gonna be one millimeter thick all the way to eight millimeters. So you have so many options when it comes to uh, prepping this thing. And of course, I love it that it kind of wraps up and then it covers the blade and it stores really nicely for storage. So many things to love about this guy. All right, we are gonna just preheat our Brilliance non-stick weeknight skillet. Got my little oil and vinegar dispenser, which of course just dispenses um, the perfect amount of oil, so you don't need a measuring. You just kind of press the button and it gives you a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna get that heated. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna chop my garlic. How can you have lasagna without a little garlic, especially over the holidays? I, got, I want you guys to raise your hand right now in the chat. Do the little uh, emoji raise hand if you are a big garlic fan. I, I call this your one-stop shop for all things garlic. Um, I already have a couple garlic cloves already diced in there, but of course it dices, slices, pastes, and peels. Oh, it smells so good. Comes with a little brush. I'm just gonna peel my garlic in here. Now, we love our garlic press. Um, and when you press garlic, you get pretty strong garlic flavor throughout your recipe, but when you dice it, dicing is actually my favorite thing to do in here. When you dice it, you get a garlic infused dish with little bites of garlic too, which who doesn't love that? You just put that right in there and there you go. I like to give it a little shake and there's all your gorgeous garlic. A lot of people raising their hands over there. Mm -hmm. Lots garlic. of thumbs up, lots of hearts. This is a great, um, what a great gift. Mm -hmm. Even like a stocking stuffer for somebody who you oh, know. Oh, what a cute stocking Don't you stuffer. think? Especially for someone who loves to cook. Yeah. I know. We were saying it looks like a little Pamper Chef air fryer. Like, it's just... I love this guy. All right. I think my pan is looking pretty good. I always say, you know, when your oil is hot enough when it moves very quickly, like water, instead of like very slow like oil. So this is pretty good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and add my... You know what? I'm going to add this to my vegetables so it gets all mixed up. Want to take a little peek? Want to take a little sneak peek? Oh my goodness. It, that vanilla. Do you smell the vanilla or the cinnamon? What do you think? I think I smell the cinnamon. Oh, so good. All right, so it all smells these. Like the holidays in here. It smells like that. Okay, maybe I am getting in the mood for the holidays a little bit early. I don't know. I just took down my Halloween stuff, so. 
course that sizzles what we like to hear it means your pan is ready you gotta get all that garlic goodness all right so these are gonna get nice and sauteed in the weeknight skillet put in the chat if you guys who has the weeknight skillet what are you loving about it what I love about it is these nice high walls um, give you lots of surface area to go ahead and like be flipping your food, right? Because the nonstick goes all the way up the top. And then the nonstick is on the outside too, which means it's really easy to clean. Um, it is dishwasher safe. It also has an aluminum core, which means it's going to heat up really quickly and then heat evenly. You really don't want, you're not gonna get any hot spots or cold spots in your pan. It's gonna heat nice and evenly. What else? It's beautiful. Oh, and it goes on any uh, cooktop, including induction. So this is a great pan. Oh, I forgot salt. I just need a little, little sprinkle of salt. Good. All right, so while this gets going, of course I got my whisk tongs. Talk about like the perfect pair. Look at how these whisk tongs really like work in the weeknight skillet so well. You can flip, you can whisk. I think this would be another nice stocking stuff or two. All right. So I'm gonna let this go just for a couple minutes, maybe four or five minutes, and then we're gonna do our ricotta mixture. So most lasagnas, you have that ricotta layer, which is ricotta, parmesan, and an egg and the egg is it's gonna give it that structure so that the cheese doesn't just like ooze out. So, what do we have here? We have a container of ricotta. Ricotta or rigot, right? How many people? Are you guys team ricotta or team rigot? Tell me. And then we've got one egg. And then we have an ounce uh, Parmesan. And I love doing this in the stand mixer because it's hands off. So we're just going to use the mix setting and then we don't have to worry if it's perfectly mixed or not because the mix setting is really gentle and just gets it just incorporated enough. Oops. Do mix for about 45 seconds. November, we have a sale on three bundles and six products. So those three bundles are, our, one of them is the stand mixer, and I can't remember all this off the top of my head, so I'm gonna read it to you. So our stand mixer bundle, it comes with the pouring shield, the small scoop, and our chocolate chip cookie mix, and of course the stand mixer. So that's on sale this month all together. We have a pop and stir bundle, which one of you guys already asked about in the QA. The pop and stir bundle comes with these cute little gift boxes, six of them liners, twine, and gift tags, the pop and stir, and cinnamon plus, and garlic parmesan seasoning. So you can do your savory or your sweet stuff in the pop and stir, so that's a really great option. We also have our pop, uh, I said that already, our prep and store, pop and stir, prep and store. <laughs> we have our prep and store bundle also on sale this month, and that comes with our kitchen paring knife set and our cherry and olive pitter. And then our six products that are on sale this month only are our enameled cast iron pan, our enameled cast iron skillet, the carving set, the stainless steel nonstick skillet, the stainless steel mixing bowl set, and our Flex Plus multi-prep set. So that was a lot. Six <laughs> products, three bundles. Reach out to your consultant for details. Make sure you shop before the month is over. And especially with those bundles, it's a great opportunity to stack with host rewards. So whether you're purchasing the sale products, the bundles, or the individual items, you can stack the host rewards. So reach out to your consultant and book a party before the month is over so you can get double the savings. I think they're ready. What do you guys think? So this is what you're looking for. It kind of gets this sandy, 
texture. There's no more kind of moisture in there. Sandy, 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 sandy. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call it. Um, Abby, would you mind helping I me while I move on I'd with the recipe? To. Perfect. So this is looking good. I'm gonna just go another minute or two, but I want to show you my ricotta mixture. How good does that look? Just kind of mixed up evenly, no problem. Um, all right. So these are looking wonderful. I can see a little browning. Again, because they were cut so thin, it kind of cooks nice and quickly. You just want to soften them because they'll bake with all the uh, layers of lasagna. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just add um, a couple cups of diced tomatoes that I drained and put in my two cup silicone truffle. Another great product to have over the holidays. Um, I want you guys to fill the chat about all the ways you love these guys. These come with a lid. They're freezer safe and microwave safe. Great for leftovers. I love them for melting chocolate because they have this nice spout that gives you tons of control when you want to drizzle melted chocolate over things. Leftovers of soups and sauces. Okay, so I took the heat off. This is just kind of getting mixed in with my vegetables. Yum. All right, I think we're ready to start layering. And of course, I have got my 10 by 14 enameled cast iron pan. What, I know I keep saying what great tools to have over the holidays, but come on, this tool, I kind of think of it as a two in one because it's not only a lasagna or a casserole pan, but it comes with a rack perfect for roasts over the holidays. And then this enameled cast iron uh, retains heat so nicely. I can't wait to show you the finished lasagna and the little brown, you know, very almost burnt, but like delicious cheesiness when it comes out and it cleans up like a dream. It's dishwasher safe, but I don't know about you guys. I, it cleans up really well in my sink, no problem. So we are gonna start with some marinara. It's three cups, we're gonna put about a half a cup down and then just start our layering. One and a half cups, sorry. <laughs> math is hard. The math isn't the math in <laughs> The math isn't method. This is about a cup and a half. Let's start that. I love recipes where um, you like assemble, like pizzas and casseroles and lasagna. It makes, reminds me when I was little and I would cook with my mom. Yeah, it's so fun to get kids involved. Yes! Like yeah, exactly. Sure. Okay, then we're gonna put our noodles down. My friends here on the kitchen make fun of me because I use so many different scrapers. So I'm gonna try to only, <laughs> I'm gonna try to only dirty a few scrapers, okay? I'm a ma you guys know I'm a messy cook. I never said I was a neat cook. So these are just regular lasagna noodles. Um, you, these aren't the no, no cook ones. These are just regular lasagna noodles. They'll get cooked with everything in the oven and it's okay that they don't fit. You can, here, I'm gonna break this one in half. Whoop! <laughs> Sorry. And then put another one down. And then we're gonna put the ricotta mixture over that, half of it. Love to know what some of your guys' favorite lasagna recipes are. See, this one has sauce, that's okay. I'm not gonna dirty another one, guys. It's ricotta mixture. You know, some people make lasagna like even on Thanksgiving or on Christmas Day. I love hearing about everybody's different food traditions, it's so fun. It's all going to kind of melt together in the pan. Oh, did I mention this pan was on sale yet? Not yet. I did. You did. You okay. can say that's Got one it. of the pans that I yes. talked about, so tell them. Oh, this pan is on sale. Sorry, I don't, I don't remember the price. $99 US. in U.S. How much Canada? Okay. I just 
love cooking with enameled cast iron. You just feel like a pro. I know I've said 99 that before. 99 US, 128 in Canada. <sighs> Great deal. Great deal. Again, I put my little silicone handle, helper handle on here, which is great. Gives you nice, good grip. Keeps your hand cool. So I'm going to put about half of my lasagna mixture. I mean vegetable mixture. You could probably do bell peppers in this if you're not a fan of these veggies. What else? I love my whisk tongs for this use because it's kind of like gentle enough to grab these vegetables without smushing. How pretty is this? You could do like eggplant or artichoke. Oh yeah. Totally. Okay. Now, of course, cheese. We've got about four cups of mozzarella cheese that we grated. This, and then you talked about ricotta. What about mozzarella? Mozzarella. You guys team mozzarella? We're from Chicago. I don't know. That's just how we talk. I have family out on the East Coast, and they say mozzarella and ricotta. I guess it's more fun to say it that way, right? What else do you guys put in your... Lasagna. Abby, do you have any like tried and true things that you put in yours? I don't know that I've ever made a lasagna. <gasps> I mean, I've helped, like, I don't think I've ever done it myself. Yeah. But now I probably will now so that easy. I've been so inspired, Sandy. It's so easy. I love it on um, Christmas Eve. All right. Lasagna always again. tastes better when somebody else makes it. Yeah, think so. <laughs> somebody does the work. <laughs> <laughs> and I always say that it tastes better the next day. I love it the next day when all the flavors get to kind of meld together. Okay. And look, you guys, I'm only using one scraper. <laughs> I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> Less dishes. It's always a good The dishwashing day. crew is cheering in Woo! the background. I'm part of the dishwashing crew. <laughs> I'm part of that crew. I help out. Let's get these. Wait, what am I doing? I did them wrong ways. Wait, what did I do? Did I do it? I did that way. Gosh, you guys, I've been cooking all day. We've been cooking and filming today. There we go. Perfect. So my oven is preheating at 350 right now. It'll go in covered with foil for 50 minutes and then uncovered for about 15. So covered is so that it all kind of bakes in together and then you want to uncover it to make sure your cheese gets nice and browned at the end. I went heavy on my ricotta mixture the first round, but that's okay. It all bakes together. All right. Veggies. chat is blowing up for those people who want the pop and stir. What do you think? Oh, the, the chat is going. Is it? I, have okay, a, I have a lasagna question for you. Yeah. Do you think that the cast iron pan, I know that it like retains heat well. Yeah. Would it help la the lasagna cook any faster or just keep it warmer longer? Keep it warmer longer. Yeah. Yep. All right. Last layer of cheese. So we also actually made a little a little sister or a little brother version of this. I want to show you guys in one second in case this is just too big for you. Maybe it's just one or two of you in the house and you don't want to make all this food. You can also make a half portion 
I'll show you one second. Or maybe one and a half portion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one and a half. You got to have leftovers. Maple. Right. Okay. That's looking delicious. Let me just show you. Check this out. We have our little mini version and our uh, stone square baker with a tray. It's not hot. Don't worry about it. It's been sitting for a little bit, but we just made a half version. Love this pan. It comes with this tray or lid that you can bake with it in the oven. Um, you could also bake something on top, like some garlic bread rolls, even roast some zucchini or something. And then, of course, you saw it as a trivet, too. So we love that. Don't you love this pan, too? Yes, and I love the white satin finish. Oh, I actually so just got this one, and I'm so excited you? to use it. Great. I love using it for brownies because yes. you get, like, a stick. Like, you pour the regular yeah. brownie batter in there. How about, like, nice a squash one. casserole Ooh, for yeah. the holidays? Yeah, yeah. And lots of treats So and another product we have in this white satin finish is our round stone baker. And the round stone baker this month is part of our bread making set that is the new consultant bonus gift when you join by November 15th. So if you join by November 15th with one of our regular new consultant kits, you get a bonus gift with the round satin, white satin stone baker, our focaccia bread mix, which is delicious. So good. And that's, of course, then you're becoming a pam pamper chef consultant, making a little bit of incremental income, perfect for those stocking stuffers for the holidays. Or if you want to join with our specialty startup kit this month, only available now through the 15th of November, you can start in the US for $25 or in Canada for $35. So it's a great time to join. Reach out to your consultant for details. And at the end of the show, Sandy will also be sharing that there's an opportunity to learn more from some of our Pamper Chef coworkers tonight on Facebook. So we'll talk about that later in the show. All right, I'm just gonna, you want a piece, Abby? Yes, I want a piece. I think you should have a piece. Oh. This is what I was talking about. Who loves that deliciously, what would you call kind of like caramelized cheesy part? That's the best part. Yeah, that side view. Of you the like layers. that side view? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and, yeah, and the crust. The extra I'm going to give you that the crust. I'm going to give that to you because. I want the corner piece. <laughs> I'm going to give you a glass of wine too, dude. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, I think you drank some of it already. <laughs> Because it just got where's yours? Right there. Oh, right here. Okay. All right. See, you gotta have a Thank little. Thank you. This is dinner we time for us guys. Okay. Okay. That's Thank for you. you. We don't. I'm gonna have to find a, oh, the fork. I got a fork for you. But we we gotta put together our snack mix really quickly. And this is just our idea. We want to know how you would make your snack mix. But I love that it like bulks up the candied nuts. Yeah, and then I mean, it's a mix is always great, right? Then you're not eating the same thing. It's yeah. like a little salty, a little sweet, a little tart with the cherries. Yeah. So good. So I like to let my candied nuts sit on a parchment lined sheet pan paper just uh, to crisp up. Mm -hmm. And for this idea, you want your nuts to be cooled because I have some white chocolate chips and you don't want the chocolate chips to get all melty. So why don't you want to add some Cheerios? Uh, so I have Cheerios, dried cherries or dried cranberries and white chocolate chips. But what else could you, you could put I mean, pretzels. you could do dark chocolate chips. Yes. You could do like toffee chips or M&Ms. Oh, yes. So many yeah. different options. Who has leftover Halloween candy? Oh, good idea! <laughs> I love that. And then, they, oh wow, mine cooled down actually pretty quickly. Look at how adorable that is. And of course, boxes that come mm -hmm. with the Poppinster set. You could gift this. We have them in our little preples too. So cute. And then the preples are like that's such a great gift, right? You got the little edible gift, but then you have yes. the preples to use. So cute. So cute. Okay. I guess I'm in the house. I guess I'm in the house. Gosh, as this night How can you not? I know. <laughs> Smell so good. All right. Um, I'm taking this. Thank you so lasagna. much. You, yeah, you have that with your lasagna. We want to know what was your favorite thing that you saw tonight? What was your favorite tip or trick? And what do you have your eye on? Um, Abby mentioned that right after this, we invite you to go to our Facebook page. Uh, Paper Chef's Facebook page or the Canada Pamper Chef Facebook page to learn a little bit more about what it's like to be a Pamper Chef consultant. Only about 10 minutes, short and sweet, but we'd love to see you over there. Uh, live events every Tuesday. Tune in Tuesday. Ask your consultant on how you can be a part of these every single week or go to the live events page on pamperedchef.com. We have a survey that's going to pop up. And if they well, we take the survey, oh, we I forgot. The giveaway. Yeah. Oh my well, god. I was gonna say the giveaway when I was but, over there, okay. but I forgot. Sorry, I rushed you off. It's okay. Okay. So the pop and stir, the electric pop and stir mm. giveaway. So it's going to drum roll, please. Did you already see? Mm -hmm. Michelle Luna Woo! and Christine Fredette. 
Congratulations. We're so excited. So we'll reach out to you after the show. We'll email you to get your shipping information so we can send you your electric Hoppinster. And then for anyone watching the recording, we're going to email the recording to everyone who registered tonight. And then if you take the survey, so register, watch the recording. If you're already hearing me, you probably are. And take the survey by Friday. We're going to pick one more winner from the people who do that. So that's super exciting. That is so exciting. Congratulations. We can't wait to see what amazing candy nut and popcorn creations you're going to come up with. So that's our show for tonight. We will stay on. There's some questions. Yeah, I'm sure there's some questions, but thank you guys. Okay, so how about cleaning the electric pop and stir? Yes, um, most of the parts are dishwasher safe. The lid, the cleaning plate, I think the rod you have to hand wash, but everything else is dishwasher safe and then you can just wipe kind of the outside. But that is unique to ours. Most of other competitors, their, their cleaning plate is not dishwasher safe, so that's a great advantage. Um, I'm gonna skip to the next question, but in our background, could we get the rapid prep mandolin out again to show something? Um, okay, so I don't know the answer to this, but the question is the size of those boxes. I looked it up, I don't mm. have the dimensions, mm -mm. but what would you guess, like three by two inches? Yeah, but they're pretty deep. I don't know if we wanna like take a look on the inside. I mean, that's a lot of nut mix in there, but they're great for mini loaves, for cookies, for brownies. Yeah. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Okay, what about the lasagna freezing it? Would you freeze it in that pan or would you move it to something else? Oh, I would move it into something else. It's a pretty big pan to put into your Which freezer. A lot of room yeah, I would probably cut it up into pieces and then freeze those pieces so it's easier to defrost so you're not defrosting a huge piece of lasagna. But lasagna freezes well. Yeah. So, okay, there's a few people asking about the discount code. So the sale is no, it's not with a discount code. So our sale tonight and all month long is on the three bundles and the six products that I mentioned earlier. It's all of November and the special offer tonight is that we're giving away the Pop and Stir. So we're trying something new this month. We're really excited to have you here. We're really excited to give away the electric Pop and Stir to two and one more, um, but there is no discount code for tonight. Okay. Rapid prep mandolin. So, Linda asked, she said when she did carrots the other day, she ended up with french fried carrots. How would you set the mandolin for simple slicing? So I'm thinking oh, yeah. like slices of carrots, right? You see this circles. little circle? That's your slice setting. So you wanna go ahead and put it on that one. And I had it on the number three, so about three millimeter thickness. Um, and you saw how my carrots came out. I really liked that thickness, but you could do it however you want it. You might have had it on the uh, julienne or slicing or on the french fry setting too, could have been. I love this thing for like Brussels sprouts. Ooh, a salad, Brussels sprout salad. Like yeah. a slaw because it's so hard to cut up Brussels yeah. sprouts. I made a really delicious quiche with a sweet potato crust on the bottom. Great for potatoes, yeah. 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 Anything. Okay, our last questions are about the survey. So Sandy, where are they gonna get the survey? It's gonna pop up right after you, right after this ends. So it takes a minute to take that. We can't wait to hear from you. All right, that's it. That's it, all right, thanks guys. Uh, hope to see you really soon and thanks for watching.